In this video, we'll explore two different ways that we can classify data. First, we have the methods of qualitative and quantitative data. Qualitative data consists of attributes, labels, and non-numerical entries. This could include things like finding out someone's college major, their place of birth, their eye color, how much they enjoy taking swimming lessons, things like that. Whereas quantitative data is numerical measurements or counts, such as someone's age, their weight, temperature, uh, time, speed, things that actually have measurements to them. So let's look at a couple examples and see if we can determine whether data is qualitative or quantitative. So if I have daily temperatures in September, temperatures are a measurement, and if I'm a measurement, that is quantitative data. Response to the survey question, what did you think of the movie? Well, once I ask someone about something they think, that's not a measurable thing. It's going to be their opinion or their thoughts. And once I can't measure it, that's going to be qualitative data. And this one, jersey numbers for players on a basketball team. Now, jersey numbers may be numbers, but they're not actually measurements or counts. They're just labeling that person with a number so that they can be actually told whether they score, steal, or foul, it's a label for that person. And if I'm labeled, that's qualitative data. And last one, a heart rate of students after running. Heart rate is something that I measure. So if it's a measurement, that is quantitative data. Now we also have the idea of discrete versus continuous data. If I have discrete data, that is data that is finite and countable. So I can go around and actually count it, such as attendance, a shoe size, and even the number of siblings I have. It's things that I can count. Whereas continuous data is something that's uncountable. It is measurable, but it's uncountable. So often that are things like your length, your height, weight, speed, because it's continuous. It can be any measure. So let's look at some examples. So one's time in running a marathon. Time is continuous because it's measurable. I start the time at zero and then it's going to continue to run and it can run infinitely. And I can have a specific time so I can't measure, it's a measurement, I can't count every single time that exists. Whereas if I'm talking about my position in the race, that is countable. I mean, I could say that there are 300 people running and I finished 32nd. That's a discrete number because I could count the number of people that were actually running and tell where I placed. Number of points in a football game, again, that's countable. I can count that we score 3 points, 7 points, 21 points. I can count that and I can compare it with the other team as well. The last one here is the monthly amount of rain in North Carolina. With this, I'm measuring how much rain occurred, and once I'm measuring, most likely that's going to be continuous data. 